Hello, everybody. Danny S. Hodges here. I make and sell and put up TV antennas in my town. And I also work on other people's antennas, too. And I got this product right here I want to show you. This is the RCA booster. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about this booster right here. They don't, they don't a lot of people know about this. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to take my TV out there, and we're going to scan it out there uh out there at the ditch where i usually check them at and see and see how this thing's doing i got a brand new antenna that i had never even tried before i know it's gonna work but uh but i actually hadn't tried it and this is what it comes with all the good boosters they have a, a it, it's a two-piece and this part goes inside the house this part right here goes to the tv and here's the booster part and, and I think that people I know that y'all see these but people's I reckon scared of them now this booster right here let me sort of explain everything to you this right here is a real good booster I've been using these for a year now and this right here is the part that goes inside the house this end right here and these two right here, if your antenna is a two-piece, and the one I'm going to be using today is a two-piece, the VHF side goes in here. The UHF goes in here. Now, on this booster, they got two little rubber stoppers that go in here. And when you get these boosters, take that rubber off. When you get these boosters, I know you probably can't see it I probably couldn't make you see it no way no how but there's a little switch inside of there and and this booster comes set to run what you know it comes set to run common and that means just a one wire antenna so you would be using these uh, like if your antenna just had one uh, you know uh, one wire coming down from the antenna. Let me get something here. Now this is the antenna that I put up in my town. This is what I call the ultimate antenna. I have a video of how to make that. And see it has one wire coming down. Now, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna, just bear with me a second. Okay, this is one I made the other day that I hadn't tried. See that VHF rod up there on top? And all this is is the ultimate antenna with a VHF rod. So this antenna has uh, two wires coming down, which is what this bad boy right here was made for. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all something now I shouldn't say. I had a little bit of trouble like a year and a half ago about a particular booster. They're supposed to be real good. I mean, that's some are going to go out. I'm talking about, about to put me in a poor house because I would go back and just, see, you know, instead of giving them hell about it, you know, making them pay, I would just go back and put them another on there. And then I would be stuck with the booster. But anyway, when you got one wire coming in, you know, if you just run a single wire antenna, like I say, you can buy these little caps right here. And I usually, uh, what I do is, is put this on and run by one wire. But today, we're going to be using both holes. And I'm fitting to scan this thing, too. And also, I got there's a little rubber stopper right here. That's, that's the FM trap. And uh, when you get it, it'll come to set to on. And also, this switch right here, if you're just running one antenna, uh, it'll be set to common, meaning one. So, and and I don't even check them no more. I used to check every one that I got, but every one I've ever got would be setting to the one. You know, you know what I mean. Take your rubber stoppers and put them back on. It comes with this, you know, to mount it to your pole. And like I say, uh, uh, y'all, this right here, this 
this ain't, I was on, I was on that video talking about this thing was twenty dollars, you know, just to bragging on it. But now they've went up in the last month. They've went up on it. Might come back down. I don't know. But anyway, this this right here is hard to beat. And and I'm gonna tell you something. I wouldn't be standing out here telling you if if it was. I just wouldn't do it. I just would say something else or do something else. My daughter, when she was leaving home, she would come ask me. have something look because she knew I would tell the truth and sometimes like before I would even get the words out of my mouth she'd say okay because <laughs> she knows like I was hesitating she knows I'll tell the truth all right I got it hooked up I had to put me a longer wire on there I didn't realize I didn't have it long enough to come down but like I say I ain't tried it and I want to say make sure that you got the VHF on the VHF UHF on the UHF because uh, I think that they are tuned for them for that for that range. Yeah, you you know what I mean. All right, y'all. I got to hurry up. I brought my power supply out here, and I reckon it's dead. I wound up having to go get a drop cold, and my lights going down out here. But I want to tell you a little one more thing. About this, about that booster. Uh, that booster, I don't know how they do it, but like when it's set on mono, it'll pick up, it'll blend the VHF and UHF together. I don't know how they do that, but they can do it. And uh, I've been running back and forth inside the house, y'all. But uh, anyway, you can see how I make this antenna on this channel. And you can Google Danny S. Hodges for my big main channel. I don't hardly put videos on there that much no more because it's got a hundred on there. But I'm fitting to scan this right here. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I got the camera set up here. I almost think I thought I wasn't going to make it, man. You see, I got it on partial channel, sir. I'm going to put that on digital. I'm going to go down, click start. I'm going to tell you a couple things. If you are within 30 miles of the TV towers, you probably don't need no booster. Uh, them, they is such thing as having too much DB gain. I went to one of my buddies the other day, and, and his has always kind of acted up some. But, I mean, he's about like 40 miles away. But still, his has kind of acted up some, and I kind of wound up just taking the booster off of it and see what it do. And he said, man, it, it was working good now. So, so see, he was getting the channels, but it was actually messing his up a little bit. And I'll tell you one more thing that I, I've ran into more and more, and that's wire or water getting in the in the cable now you would think that that's just not no big deal or whatever and I mean I would have thought the same thing I would have thought it might be kind of bad if it gets in the transformer but it can get in the wire and mess it up I didn't seen it several times and I do want to say that I'm fit to speed this up right here y'all I might have said it but I'm 60 miles away from the TV towers all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up and and let the scan finish it. For some reason, it's taking a long time. It's studying hard today. You know, I don't know what them uh I don't know what them twenty two channels are. About twenty channels is usually all we get, and this. This channel right, let me back back it up. This channel right here, uh, CBS, that's the main channel around here that everybody like want to make sure they get and get it good. All right, there you go, everybody. And I actually made it before it got too bad dark. How about that? All right, thanks, everybody.